Hey guys, Koro Chan here, and this is another episode of Tale Tales, Tales from the Borderlands. And now we have to find August. I'm assuming this is August or Easter. All right, you know the stuffed animals was Never. one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Oh. Please so watch your step there. and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh, oh, wait. Just a bunch of dead people. Well, that's scanty to me. Name Professor Penumbra. Hometown Oasis. Height 510. Weight 143 pounds. Current set of stuffed and mounted. Cause of death is stabbing. Last word. What are you gonna do? Stab me? Of course it's very last words. Boom. Boom! Not to be confused with his brother Boom was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Incendiary grenade. Status deactivated. Grenade damage 2050. Blast radius 312. Fuse time 3.2. Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Firecracker. DIY. For the man who longed to feel fancy without sacrificing that certain genesis. This guy was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it! Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The ID chip. What's a weapon? Your unlinked cannon. Weapon type slag. Gen ID Prof Nakayama. Modification self inflicted. Oh, yeah. Well, what a crazy person attached a robot. Arm. A robot gun arm to their spine. That's a crazy person. Rotting arm. Detected analysis radio alien. He's frequently in love with narcissism despite best attempts does not work. That's hilarious. I the once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. I remember that. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? No, we need to make sure that there's nothing I can scan. And that is... So it's right too. The brain of Commandant Steel. Composition, military grade, carbon nanotube, polymer. Contents of brain. Still includes augmentation. I, 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 Let's open the door. We could not, but we could just open it. Oh, it's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? 
Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. You two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages. <laughs> not dead. Why are you pretending to be dead? What? <laughs> dead? No, 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 no. Asleep, maybe. Dead. That's your you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> what? What? What what is this? Is this part of this part of the like some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppy puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. So you... Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> But, unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. We're no. here to make... We're looking for August. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. Do it. I love buying things that are strange and illegal. Shade, weird character. My grandpappy, he's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of, anim of animals. <laughs> Still is actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting ten million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between. The middleman. The puppet. The pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. Hooray. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh... Equal footing. It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills kind that are hard to break. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. I do want my bottle. It better be a good bottle, too. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance in your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the 
way I uh, usually do these things. Wait. What? I. I just don't like it. I got a. I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. Let's just uh, wrap this up, all right? We saw it. We like it. What more is there to talk about? Don't worry about it. She, uh, she gets this way. It's no problem. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment is, since the moment they walked in. I always what are you talking attitude. about? And why, why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that. And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, you're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. Hooray. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... August, come on, I need that key. Promises were made and and, and, and my bosses are expecting... No, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? Yeah, no, do it. I made up my mind. August, wait! Freeze! This is your department! Do something! Do it. What's going on? Everything's all slow. It's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the Throat. What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? Yeah. What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner. I am a winner. Everyone's a winner. This is so ridiculous. I love it. What a steaming load of scag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it, you're getting dirt in my eye! It sucks, cause I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! Also you two. <laughs> alright, alright! <laughs> Mission accomplished! 
And I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last... Okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is... Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. The Vault Hunter showed up. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. Let's start from the beginning, don't we? I mean, why not? What's there to lose? I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Raised you into a life of crime. Cool. Who doesn't want to be raised into a life of crime? There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault King, real or otherwise. Don't. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. Can't so have them keep it. their hands to themselves. Keep them from touching it? How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. But you'll think of something you always do. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Yeah. Okay? Poop trains. That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I'll back you I up. I have the shiniest you. meat bicycle. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Yes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The purple skag hey, yeah. is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. I might need something bigger. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. 
won't you be able to smell the paint? Emergency only. I <laughs> got it. Ten dollars in the bank. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here. We'll learn more about Fiona in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time with part four of Tales from the Borderlands. Goodbye.